You know, John Fitchelson had a call out on evangelical leaders, these guys, you know, the kind of guys that support Donald Trump, the kind of guys that want to lock women up who happen to have an abortion, you know, the kind of guys who want to claim that they love they love to feed us so much, but when it's time to take care of the kids, they're never there. John Fugilsan came out with a rant right before Christmas that I missed, but I kind of came across it on, uh, on, on Daily Coast and other places just today. Got to present this because I hadn't seen it said this well before. And then he has a special call out, but let's listen to it here and then we'll take it on the other side. Uh, I would love to leave behind right-wing fundamentalists and Christian nationalists who use Jesus, whose birth we celebrate, as a prop while legislating and fighting against his actual teachings. Mm. There's a lot of right-wing brothers and sisters in this country who identify as Christian, and they care about the manger and the crucifix, and they ignore the 30 years of teaching. Uh, Jesus is um, not an ally of the Republican Party. There is no overlap between Jesus and the policies of Donald Trump. In South Carolina, they tried to have a bill this year calling for the death penalty for abortion. We're so pro-life, we'll kill you. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> Seeing the Pope this week enrage yeah. these right-wing Christians so much because he acted like Jesus in blessing gay unions. Yep. Jesus is not anti-immigrant. He commands people to welcome the stranger. He never mentions abortion. The Bible never condemns abortion. We've had two generations of Christians in this country who have been groomed to believe criminalizing abortion is something to do with what Jesus talked about. Christ was a peaceful, radical, nonviolent revolutionary, never mentioned gay people. He commanded you to pay your taxes, to welcome the stranger. Individuals and nations must care for the poor and sick in Matthew 25. He who lives by the sword must die by the sword, Luke 22. There's a reason why these right-wingers never try to put the Sermon on the Mount on walls and classrooms. I'm the child of an ex-nun and an ex-Franciscan. Oh, wow. And if you are, if you want to criminalize abortion and put people in jail because you're so Christian when Jesus never mentioned abortion, but you support the death penalty, which Christ actually opposed those things, then the rest of us aren't obliged to take your claims of Christian piety seriously anymore. And the media is to blame because the media loves a bad guy and has made the Falwells and the Robertsons pass for what Christianity is for a generation. It's time to take the Bible back from the hypocrites and thugs. Notice what John did in that, in that call out as well. He called out the media because he made it clear that uh, that these these clowns who make up our uh, evangelical leadership that has uh, created a Trump, the evil that is a Trump, uh, the fall well, the fall wells of the world, all these guys, he said, media, you didn't do your job. You need to do your job because you know what? These guys are harming the country and you are complicit if you don't call them out. And what does he call them? He called them thugs, as they should be called. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.